In my short time of using a tiling window manager, I very quickly became aware of the benefits of quick tiling features on the desktop. Being able to very quickly split your screen and be able to see information side by side, like if I'm writing a post and I have my collection of pictures beside it, it's incredibly useful as a productivity enhancer. I can just drag and drop a picture over or whatever if I want to insert into the article and so forth. There were some things about a tiling desktop that I didn't like as well. It was far too rigid for my liking and I wanted to explore adding some of these tiling features into Plasma but without losing the benefits of floating windows as well. So I'm gonna demonstrate here the changes I made to make my desktop life a bit more efficient for me. The way I see it, the desktop you work in should mold itself to how you prefer to work, not the other way around. Everybody thinks differently and it works differently. I don't believe that any one particular workflow is better than the other. I do, however, believe that the workflow I choose for me is the best one for me. I also believe that I should be open to making adjustments as I see fit. This is the reason I consider Plasma to be the best desktop available, as I can make it work brilliantly for me, and I'm free to change every aspect of it. Although I believe these features have been in Plasma for several releases now, I'm currently using KDE Plasma 5.17.4 on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Snapshot 2019-1229. I have not tested this on any other distribution, so there's your disclaimer. First, you have to set your hotkeys. and make any adjustments to Plasma, there's a place for that, which is great. So in the menu, the system settings, you're given a very nice arrangement of all your system settings. And in this case, I wanna do shortcuts. It's part of the workspace, so shortcuts. And then the component I will be working in will be KWIN because KWIN is the part of the desktop that handles the windows. It is the window manager. So what I wanna be able to do is very quickly tile windows around the screen. I just wanna add this shortcut feature. Excitedly, there is a quick tile series of features. So this is, it's very basic tiling. It's not, not as comprehensive as you would have on you know, i3. What we have here and what I've done, I have set up bottom, bottom left, bottom right, left, right, top, top left, and top right. And I use a combination of meta shift down and meta control shift page up versus meta shift page down to go top to bottom. And I can, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. So let's pretend that I have the Big Daddy Linux discourse up. I'm, gonna look, I'm in their forums and somebody is helping me out with something. Well, I'd like to be able to very quickly just tile left to right. So I can go and meta shift right to throw my turtle to one side. And then I can jump over here to this web page and I can tile that as well. So now I am able to go look at things side by side. So let's say, you know, I'm I'm working on stuff and I really want to you know put up another terminal. So I, I, I meta shift page down because the layout of my keyboard has page down right above the the right arrow key so it's very convenient for me for this keyboard on my dell latitude e6440 yes i know it's old but you know it's it's great for me and uh let's say i, I want to try something else and have a, an, another terminal window open now to put that in the lower corner and so i, I want to meta shift and control plus page down i'll put it down in this quadrant of the screen so now I can have two terminal screens open and my my web browser. And let's say perhaps that I I want to start looking at the destination Linux forum. Go and tile this over. You know to compare, you know, the the colors and everything, you know, maybe I like the, the Big Daddy Linux dark theme better than the destination Linux network light theme, doesn't really matter. I can I can lay out and look at things side by side, but there's another feature that I'd like to show you is it's part of the tiling workflow, is the ability to switch window focus. I'm gonna to try to resist starting to show you how I use these things until I get through the last few sections, but the switch window focus. Now that that's done also in the same KWIN part of the global shortcuts, where you can go to, if I can find it, you know, because reading is fundamental, the switch to window above, below, left, and right. What I've done here is meta alt up left right and down. And to demonstrate that is if I hit, if I hit meta alt left it'll go to whatever windows to the left and or to right I should say meta 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 alt right and that will it'll continue down going right across the screen. So then going right back I can then jump focus between the different the different windows. And that's very handy in tiling as well because I can then jump between 
no, this this page, scroll around, whatever, then it can jump to the Big Data Linux forum and, and so forth. And then the above and below, so if I'm in the terminal up here, I can jump to the, and jump to the terminal down here. But now, you know, I've got all these things kind of layered on top of each other. It really would be nice if I could then move them to another desktop, which brings me to my next part, which is window to desktop. So I have set control shift F1, F2, F3, and F4 to move windows to the desktop. So if I'm over here, and I really want to stick this over to another desktop because uh, it's too cluttered here. I'm kind of making a mess of myself, which I'm, I'm fabulous at doing. And control shift, I can just hit F2, and that dumps that to the other virtual desktop. And then I want to give it a terminal as well. Control shift F2, and then I can jump, hitting control F2 to that other desktop. And then I can go ahead and tile these as I see fit. Or you know, if I went down here, but let's say it makes more sense to have them like that. So that allows me to then do very quick key combinations. I can jump from desktop to desktop and, and do whatever things I want to do. You know, let's say I want to get rid of these global shortcuts here. Kind of looking at it, it's it's interfering with my ability to, to jump to screen, so I can just hit Control F3, I'll just dump it to another. Oops. I can hit Control Shift F3 and dump that over. And then clean up this desktop and, and keep working. You know, then if I'm playing over here, I'm trying some things, then I can jump to, you know, try things over here in the Destination Linux network, but oh, no, it's not, not arranged quite the way I like, so I can just go ahead and you know, fix that. So that's a nice, you know, I can move windows to different desktops, switch those desktops. And then a, another nice feature is, you know, let's say I have lots of these these uh, browser windows open or terminals open, and I, I don't know what desktop I put them on. You can present these windows as well. Let's jump over here to this desktop. And presenting windows is, is another nice feature. You can also do screen edges for this as well, which I have both because sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more mouse heavy some days and sometimes I'm a little more keyboard heavy. I, I don't really know what, what triggers these things in me, but that's, uh, you know, that's just how things go. Here under toggle present windows, toggle present windows, uh, all desktops, current desktop or window class. Present windows, all desktops. If I do this control F10 now, I can also do, I have this set to my upper left corner of the screen as well, but we'll just do this. So control F10, that will show all, everything that's on my desktop or for all, all my desktops. Now, if I want to see what is on just this current desktop, control F9, we'll do that. Now I just have this one thing on that desktop. Let's go ahead and just jump, jump to another one. Not that it would make that big a difference because I've just divided things out, but control F9, and I can, oh, those are things that are on this particular desktop. And then what's also cool is, let's say I'm here on this browser window, and I know that I have something open on another screen, I'm not sure which one. I do control F7, I can see all the different, everything that all my browsers, I can just jump to, jump to that. It's very convenient, and I really appreciate those shortcuts. Whatever shortcuts you end up implementing, you need to be able to test them and use them. If you can't remember all of them, then it's really not helping you at all. I mean, unless you want to have a cheat sheet up next to your your monitor until you get used to it, I guess that's fine. Add the shortcuts that make sense to you. Maybe the the different shortcuts, you know, that I'm using, you know, this is, you know, meta page up to maximize it and then to restore it, as it kind of toggles it, doesn't work for you, or to the different the different uh, locations of, of where you want to, you know, put it, doesn't make sense to you, then don't do that. Whatever works for your keyboard and how your fingers like to, to dance around, that's what you need to do. So this is what I've done. You can look at my scheme Again, if that works for you, that's great. Now, here's another feature that, that, that makes Plasma really awesome is just because you make all these settings doesn't mean they're just stuck here in, in this session of Plasma. I can very easily export it by hitting File, Export Scheme. And since I've only been doing the Kwin, I can just do Kwin, but let's say I did a bunch of them. I can do that, hit OK, and I can call it, you know, whatever I want that makes sense. It doesn't direct you to put an extension on the scheme, so I, I, I just call it put dot scheme behind it because that just helps me out. I need to have a file extension. I just need to have a file extension. That's just how it, that's just how my mind works. So you now do it my uh, my plasma dot scheme. Oh wait, my plasma shortcuts dot scheme. There, this way I know what it is. I can save that. So overall, I'm quite pleased with these particular functions built right into plasma. They do make working on my system a bit more enjoyable and efficient. You know, does it save me hours in a day? No, maybe only a few minutes, but it just feels real good to quickly tile windows, move them to alternate desktops and switch to those desktops. 
Now, there, there are many more functions available. As you can see, a lot of mine are, are, pretty, are blank because you know, I haven't had a need for them. And really, when you, when you add functions or add, add shortcuts into your desktop, you don't want to overwhelm yourself by memorizing all those different little key combinations. You know, just do what makes sense for you and play around with it. There are a few functions or benefits of a, of a true tiling manager that I don't have here, at least it's not obvious to me, in Plasma. The, the rapid shifting or the ease of, of changing the sizes of the tiles when they're side by side or top to bottom. Uh, right now, they're either locked at either 50% of the screen or 25% of the screen. So I'm, I'm not aware currently how to rapidly make it like a 60-40 split or similar. There could be a plugin or extension that I'm not aware of, but I don't want to lose any of the floating capabilities that I have with Plasma because I, I, I really like that as well. It, it, it works well for me. So as it stands right now, I currently have what I believe is the best of both worlds of tiling and floating with the manager. Thanks for watching. <laughs>